All right, stream. The team is on a 40, a 40 point lead. We're just going to say 40 point lead. Yeah. All right, so Codfather is now we're starting to get this going. They're going to start over the map. They're on a 40 point lead. They're going to play it out. 40 point doesn't seem like too much. What's up, Tax? Thanks, man. Uh, probably second time ever casting, so. Let's see how this goes, guys. My boy DZ. I'm just gonna set out with Dynasty again. He was the one slaying out for the team earlier. He was on pace to drop probably 45 at least. So we'll see how he goes on this second start after the restart, guys. So he's doing the same play as before, just pushing right into purple and try to hold these spawns for his team. Oh, unfortunately, the team should have spawns. They push into blue here. Nice. Oh, so Look at they're running. Two, are they running two battles? I think they're running two battles in this map, which is interesting. Right? Usually, you see teams running almost four subs. Put it on a battle for Green Hills. But yet again, the uh, the red team, uh, Asma Esports, starting strong on this first hill yet again. What's up, Barn? It's good contest time right now. Yeah. I just need to make some plays on this hill right now. He's doing really big. His next movement is really nice right now. Get some time off this hill. They're going to be late on the rotation, unfortunately, so they really should need to go push him out. It's a good kill pushing out top green plat and make him spawn out by uh, blue. Where these guys choking his jumps. Codfather's getting back on the board right now. Same shit happened last time. Uh, the last time they started slow when the first kill, they really turned up on Eskies. So right now, guys, it's about a 50 point lead, mind you, let's say 40 points on the uh, first kill, the first restart. Near land side, just watching spawn is pushing over rotation on the purple side. Big kill. Need this two piece. Nice. You're not reload. Let's just push down. They play slow and pinch this thing and actually break this hill. Just 49 seconds, so they did actually break this hill. It's a good time. If they want to come back and win this and stop that 40 point deficit they got from the first set of rotations, this, uh, this is the hill they're going to do it on. This is the team. Pretty good chance, good hold. You're going to win back. This land is a local of Pennsylvania. It's called Game On. Guys, it gets real loud right here. It's three dead for Kazma Esports. Codfell is looking real strong in their first map right here. We got 15 and 9 for Money Dan, 13 and 9 for Dynasty, and 15 and 11 for Landslide. The other team is completely getting out played right now. They pick up the slaying department, they can easily come back into this. Keep in mind, stream, they still have a 40 point lead from the restart. So 
Lee's almost pushing to 80 right now. It is unbearably hot here, by the way, guys. There's a lot of people. This little ass room right here, all next to us. Everyone getting hyped, blowing hot air. It's way too hot. I'll be pushing a 80 point lead right here. John Nasty's really trying to turn out for his team. Constant two piece after two piece for Cod Fathers. Show team cannot stay. Uh, they're just completely getting outslayed right now. Let's give some Thomas some love. He's struggling right now, but if he turns up, he can happen to help his team on the second side. Unfortunately, he is 9 and 20 right now. He's not doing such a great performance. It's probably it's not the reason they're losing because his teammate is 12 and 18, 12 and 19. Uh, they're not trading kills effectively, unlike uh, COD fathers, and they're actually trading all the kills. about over right now stream uh, it's it's pretty much over for the other guys it's not mathematically impossible yet but they get another 30 points they really need to turn up on this second set of hills on the first uh, last rotation they need to hold every second of the time right now So once, once more, just keep in mind they have a 40 point lead from the first side. So remember, Codfather, this was a 40 point lead on top of their 140 right now. So it's 180 to about 120 for the other team. You hear the funniest things at LAN. I just heard one kid on the other team. One of the slam streams is like, I just can't win a gunfight. <laughs> never admit that. If you go to LAN, never admit that you can't win a gunfight. It's rule 101. This game is going to end before they can actually drop 50. Landslide's actually the quietly one that's doing the most work right now. He's 32 and 19. The other team is completely getting outslayed. The one doing most of the OBJ work is Stundy, I believe. Keep in mind, lads, uh, they have a they have a 40 point lead from the first. This is the I had to do the restart. They also have a 40 point lead. Huh? It's 102, so it's one. Uh, 60, it's 60. I mean, they can, they hold this whole hill and all the next. They just can't get confident right now. They have to pushing hills. Let's go play some donuts ass and push out that guy and kill him before he gets to his teammate. This hill right here is really coming back in. They really need hopefully hold us for that. Best way to do it. So granted, it's a restart. Thomas has opened up his slam. Like, he was 9 and 20 at the first of the wheel, so he's 24 and 31 right now, guys. And that's gonna do it. If they get the last 10 seconds, the mathematics is impossible. A 40 point lead going in the last two on top of their 10 point lead right now at 50. So unfortunately, uh, Todd Fathers. 
Xbox One, Chronic. Now I just how many kills Landside is going to get before this game ends. Chronic is 42 and 28. Before you had one person here already drop a 50 bomb. So, 42 and 20 is respectable. It's good kills. Dynasty really slowed down and uh, Landside really picked it up from the first two. Let's see if he can get 45. Yes. Main slave for Landside had 44 and 23, I believe, guys. 44 and 23. Completely outslayed. This next map is my question. I know it's hard. Or, uh, uh, comeback. I believe it's comeback up playing a second map. Comeback. Ask what map those guys have played. Ask what map. Ask what up playing it is. Triple T for Eddie. Uplink, right? Um, there's the, yeah, the uplink comeback. Thank you. Hey. You guys ready? Oh, yeah, you guys play after your time. Hey. Hello? Shane, you're playing, I think. Are you not? Don't smack that you didn't like it. Eddie, I might have to go. What are you talking about? Hey, I think Laggerty is your play. Oh, you're playing? Yeah. You're okay. playing? You guys are back there. Like where you guys were. All right, guys, we're just trying to get them ready to go here. I'm about to start this. Uh All right, here we go, guys. This is Uplink comeback. Map two of round one against COD Fathers and Kazma Esports. My bad, guys. I actually set it up for uh, hard point at uplink. One second.
Todd Pollard is nine sixteen. I don't know if he passed the So we're live right now. Yeah, you were, you were yeah, he does. All right, uh, guys, we are we are going into map two of the first round of the game on LSC land. We have Cod Fathers who is up currently one nothing. I do not know what happened the first game. I just walked in the room here, and they're playing Kazma Esports. E uh, apparently, they're a new team that came down here. So. Yeah, this is BP commentating right here. I come down here and stream on Thursdays and Fridays. I didn't come down this week. I had a pretty rough week altogether, so yeah, I just didn't have too much work to come down and you know, stream. It was, it was a bad week. But uh, we're going to jump in right here. He's sitting bottom middle trying to look for anyone coming mid. Glass. Uh, I'll come back up, Link. You really want to get glass control. That's the most important spot. You can see over the ball, you have really good uh, point of uh, vantage point, and it forces the other team to spawn out towards green. So we got... They already got a two point. He's using a laser sight. I don't know why. <laughs> laser sight really is just like a placebo effect in this game. And uh, But they got the spawn trap held in pretty nice. And we have an Xbox to just hit off, so we might have to just start to Yeah. It's either that or the monitor. What's up, Trey? What's going on? It sucks that you're not here. Make sure people are taking the battery. Let's turn it back on. Hey, if anybody's using batteries, take them out of your control. What is going on, guys? We are back. Map number two. Codfathers in the lead, one nothing, taking map number one against Casmo Esports. We are heading into comeback uplink. And we're going to start on board with the Sentinel squad. We're gonna see how Casmo Esports does this. You see, you see Donut dropping, flanking right off the rip. Oh, and he gets naded by Dynasty. And you see Codfather's keeping control of glass. This is exactly what you need to do on this map. No one has ball yet. They're just trying to keep map control. And that was a big kill on glass. They need that. They need map control. As Codfather still have glass control, but they do have ball going middle, which he is, he has stopped. Pretty much just contested. They're gonna take ball. Is that blue? Yeah, they're taking it blue. And they're easily stopped. Casmo's taking it right down middle. He should be able to get a one-pointer at least. And it is intercepted. 
I don't think he was going to make that anyway. I think it was uh, a low throw. And Codfathers, they've been pretty much, they've pretty much had control of Glass the entire game. They just haven't been able to capitalize on it. They keep getting stopped. He's able to throw it, but that's three down. As long as they can keep slaying, they're going to be able to get points on the board. And it looks like this should be a two-point play. He missed the one. What happened there? And just like that, no points were on the board there. I don't know what happened. They, it seemed like he could have passed to his teammate that was sitting under the uplink. Voltage gets a two-piece, looking for the third. He goes for the one. He misses the one again. We're two minutes into this game, and there's still not a single point on the board. And you see Kazmo Sports finally getting the first points on the board. They get a dunk. Voltage is trying to get this kid out of their base, and they finally clean him up. All three of Kazma players in their base, they clean up pretty much every single one. There's still one player alive in Glass, which is Dynasty. Dynasty just trying to stay alive and keep Glass control. And you see that Kazma tried to get uh, one pointer there, but they got stopped. They throw the ball back and they just reset it. Yeah. Oh, that was a team kill. He teams up with a stun. And that's all. He can go for a one here. I don't think he's going to get it. He got double stun. And he missed the one-pointer, just by a little bit. And I think they're going to take a green here. Basic. It bounced. <laughs> and, yep, they got they got two point. Basically, Codfathers are on bad side right now, and all they need to do is keep the score to a minimum or even have the lead going into the next side. As they seem, they're slaying out pretty well. You see uh, Donut dropping 4 and 12. You have Relevant 6 and 11. And it's Tomas 8 and 13. Pretty much everyone on Codfathers is positive except for money. And it is 6 2, just like that. I think we may see 10 points here if they keep slaying out. And he does get that two piece. And that's going to be another two points on the board. Just like that, it was 0-0 going into the third minute. And just after two minutes, it's 8-2. to two. And I think it just got played. That's I've never seen that before. Got stuck up on the ledge. All card players need to do is just keep slaying out, and they're going to get another two points here. That's two down for Casmo. Last one on their base. There's one bottom yellow. They need to slay out. Dynasty gets that big kill. They got the ball middle. He gets easily stopped. There's two, le two left alive. Dynasty with the big kill. Dynasty with the two piece. And that should be a two. Codfather's already up 1 0 in the series. And they take the 10-2 lead going into good side. So I'm probably going to say they're going to spawn trap in green pretty easily here and probably win 20-2 or 20-4. Yeah, pretty much everyone on Codfathers is, <laughs> is going positive right now. Everyone on Casmo is negative. Basically, Casmo just needs to get some more clutch kills. I'm, it's not that they're getting totally slain out. They just need to get some more clutch. I mean, they are getting pretty slain out, actually. They are getting. <laughs> and like I said, it's already 12 to 2. You hear them getting loud. Codfathers are getting loud. And that's two down for blue. Pushing around this backside. They can get another two pointer. Already 14 to two. I'm pretty sure I called it here. It's probably gonna be 20 to two. 
They have him spawn trapped pretty well. Even though there's only one alive. They go for the one. They miss the one. But it seems like he can get a two here. Oh and he gets the two. 16 to 2. Um, I think this game is pretty much over. <laughs> kind of could tell it was over since Codfathers took a 10 2 lead on bad side. But I mean, don't count, you can't count them out yet. They still have time. If they can start slaying out and getting glass control, I mean, they can easily take this. Uh, Kazmo did get a one point play. They're going to need a lot more than one point plays to get back in this game, though. One point plays, I mean, they're there, but they need more than one. And you see three down for Kazmo. Basically, all, all Codfathers need to do is just play ball. That's basically all they need to do is just play ball. They don't need points. They just need to slay out and keep map control. And you see three down. And that should be a two-point play. Oh, no, there's one There's one on it. He can still get stopped. He goes for a one-point play. Makes the one. 17-3 to three to Codfathers. Donut dropping, killing the guy out of their base. They get another one point play, 18 to three. Only two points needed to close this game out. I'm seeing 20 to three. I'm definitely seeing 23. And that's another player out. And I'm oh, they go for one again. They get the one point play, 19 to three. All I need is one more point. That's three down for Casmo. I think this game is pretty much over. Yeah. Only two minutes remaining in the game. Casmo did slay out of their base. Uh, no one's in the ball though. Everyone's there blue. They're gonna try to go for one point player here. Oh, he does get through, and he got the one. And that's 20 to three. Codfather's taking the series to nothing. Good plays by Codfather's, playing that uplink pretty much perfect. Kept the other team for scoring points. They got 10 on bad side, and after that, it was pretty much over. Good games to Codfather's, and good luck to Kazmo in the rest of the game uh, series. All right, guys, we're getting your second match ready to go. Right back with your quick matchup.